welcome from ESPN's NFL Countdown, Chris Berman. The V Foundation was founded by the legendary coach Jim Valvano. In the face of terminal cancer, Coach V stepped up on stage at the very first ESPY Awards in New York and uttered the words that will forever be remembered in our hearts. If you were there or if you saw it, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Money raised for the V Foundation goes directly to cancer research to honor the memory of a man whose bravery continues to inspire others. To present this year's Jimmy V Award for Perseverance, please welcome Rob Lowe. There are many here tonight whose excellence has been reflected in the bright glare of the world spotlight. This year's recipient of the Jimmy V Award has achieved his greatness quietly and steadily, often with a minimum of fanfare. This season, Coach Don Meyer broke an historic record in the annals of coaching, yet his is a name that not everyone has heard of. But to coaches like Bobby Knight, Pat Summit, and the legendary John Wooden, he is, quite simply, the man. Tonight, we honor more than Don Meyer's record. We honor an unbelievable triumph of will, powered by faith, tenacity, and the love of coaching. Don Meyer has been a dedicated coach and mentor to all who've known him in college basketball for 38 seasons. But last season, he became something else an inspiration. On the verge of winning more games than any men's coach in college history, Don's life would change in an instant, and he would find himself tested in ways unimaginable. September 5th, 2008. An 18-wheeler crushes Don's car in a head-on collision. The truck shatters all his ribs, filling his chest with blood. His spleen is destroyed, his diaphragm torn, his left leg pulverized. Incredibly, worse news would come later that night. During surgery, doctors discovered that Meyer had cancer in his liver and intestines. It was inoperable. His family prayed for his survival and wondered, how would he cope? He had tubes in his throat, so he couldn't speak. And he couldn't move except to just wiggle his right hand. And so we put a pen in his hand, and he wrote on the piece of paper, how long before I can coach? Neither his injuries nor his cancer diagnosis had shaken his resolve. But then, another setback. 14 days after surgery, his leg was amputated below the knee. Still, he persevered. There we go. After 55 days in the hospital, it wasn't worth resting. <laughs> Don Meyer left in a wheelchair and was at work at 4.45 the next morning. Now we take a shot with Mitch over here. Where he coached all year without missing a single game. Use your hands more, you'll make some mistakes. Just use them more. I love to see how a team can improve and kids can improve, so that's why I coach. I mean, there's nothing better than that. I mean, that's, that's, uh, it just eats you up inside how, how lucky you can be coaching kids. And we need to have a great warm up doing those things there if we want to do them in the game. On January 10th, Meyer won his 903rd game, setting a record that just months before seemed so out of reach. We're never going to be able to thank all of you, but you need to know how much it means to our family and, and to our team. You go through what I went through with this. You're gonna get emotional, you're gonna cry a little more, you're gonna hug people, you're gonna to wanna to say what's important to people before they leave, because you might never get a chance again to say it. It was a blessing in a lot of ways for me. It's made me a different person. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the recipient of the Jimmy V Award, Coach John Meyer.
we don't have any teleprompters in South Dakota, so I'm just going to read this. That's okay. I'm just a small college coach from Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. That means when I leave the motel tomorrow morning at 4.15, I'll take all the soap, shampoo, and even... <laughs> and even the shower cap. Um, that means I know how to make a 17-hour drive to spend a two-hour home visit with the recruit and his family, and then get back in the car and make a 17-hour drive back home. If I had not coached 40 years in small colleges, I probably wouldn't have developed the toughness to successfully negotiate the past 10 months. Yesterday, I was fortunate to visit with Coach John Wooden, and he gave me this card with guidance his father gave to him upon his graduation from grade school. One of his dad's favorite pieces of advice was the following, don't whine, don't complain, and don't make excuses. Every time I've gone to rehab workouts, these three statements have slapped me right in the face as I glance around the room and see that everyone doing their rehab with me has it much tougher than I do. The F word has been unfortunately uh, used highly in our society in the world today, and we use it in our basketball program also. Our F words are faith, family, and friends. Faith that God <laughs> Faith that God has a reason for sparing my life at this time so I can try to serve others for a few more years. Family, such as my wife, Carmen, our children, Jerry, Brooke, and Brittany, who've given me constant concern, care, and prayer. I would not be here tonight if my wife of 42 years hadn't devoted her entire time to totally bringing me back from where I was. <laughs> Friends, like our current team of Northern State University Wolves, all the former players from Northern State, Lipscomb University, and Hamlin University, and coaches all over the country who encouraged me with letters, emails, phone calls, and visits, and spent nights sitting with me all night long so my wife could rest so she could stay up the next day and make all the big decisions. I've learned from this odyssey that peace is not the absence of troubles, trials and torment, but calm in the midst of them. I first met Coach Jim Valvano at a Nike clinic we were uh, speaking at in San Francisco. When I sat with him in the hospitality room, he showed me how one human being could speak, tell jokes, laugh, and entertain us all for an hour without ever breathing. The man lived each moment to the fullest. He was high on life. He was the kind of guy who never wasted an at-bat. He always swung from the heels for the fences, and he never got cheated, not one time. And you know, that's the way I would like to live the rest of my life, and I think you would too. Jim Valvano achieved every goal he set for himself in life in his career as a coach. When he reached the end of his run on this earth, he set one last goal find a cure for cancer. And with all of us helping the Jimmy V Foundation, I think he'll nail that one too. Thank you. <laughs>